Entangling the web of modal verbs. A deep dive into nuances. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to delve into an often misunderstood aspect of English grammar. Modal verbs. They're super handy, but they can be a bit tricky. It's not just about knowing what each one means, but also understanding the subtle differences in their usage. So, buckle up, because we're about to go on a roller coaster ride through the nuances of modal verb meanings. Modal verbs are a small group of auxiliary verbs used primarily to express ability, possibility, permission, or obligation. This group includes can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, and ought to. Their main role is to give additional information about the function of the main verb that follows it. Let's look at the subtle differences between similar modal verbs. 1. Can versus could. Can indicates ability or possibility in the present, while could often refers to a past ability or a less certain possibility. 2. Example. I can swim well now. I have the ability now. 3. Example. I could swim well when I was younger. I had the ability in the past. 4. May versus might. Both may and might express possibility, but might is often used for a smaller possibility. 5. Example. It may rain today. There's a good chance of rain. 6. Example. It might snow in July. There's a small chance. It's unlikely. 7. Should versus must. Should advises or recommends something, while must implies a stronger necessity or obligation. 8. Example. You should eat vegetables. It's good for you. 9. Example. You must stop at a red light. It's a law, an obligation. Understanding these nuances helps you express yourself more accurately and understand others better. Let's put theory into practice with some exercises. I'll give you a sentence with a blank, and you'll choose the best modal verb to fill it. 1. She, blank, reached the top shelf. Can, could, must. 2. It, blank, rain tomorrow. May, might, should. 3. You, blank, wear a helmet when riding a bike. Should, might, can. Think about the meaning you want to convey before choosing your modal verb. That's all for today. Remember, understanding the nuances of modal verbs can elevate your English to new heights. Practice these, and soon enough, you'll be using modal verbs like a pro. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to revisit this video anytime you need a refresher. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.